Hi, my name's Kim Norris, and I'm residential math faculty at Mesa Community College. For the first generation students, we like to have them have a feeling of inclusion. Um, our math and computer science department want them to know that we value them as part of our class. I strive to build belonging and inclusion in my classroom by greeting the students by name each day when they walk in my classroom. Um, on the first day, I also like them to introduce themselves and, and tell me a little bit in the class a little bit about themselves. And I try to comment on each of their um, introductions so that they know that they are important and interesting to me. I also have my classroom divided into pods, groups of four desks. Uh, that way the students feel like they're part of a team, part of a community when they come in each day to work in math. I do a lot of board work in pairs and I try to change those pairs up each day also. I found that this helps to overcome any social and cultural barriers that the students may feel by working with all the different people in the classroom. Equally important to me is making sure that the students are aware of all the resources available. And making them aware is one thing, but making them go is another. So what I've developed over the years is I have five bucket activities built into my syllabus and into the class. The students get 10 points for each bucket activity for a total of 50, and it is part of their grade. It's not optional. This way, I can encourage the students to build their own um, idea of what they would like to attend rather than make them attend certain workshops. So things that I give bucket activities for would be math boot camps, which we offer in the summer and also in the winter break. And those boot camps work on the prerequisite skills for their upcoming class. I also offer a bucket activity points for attending one or more math interludes workshops. Those are just-in-time remediation workshops that um, are historically hard topics for students in math. Uh, another example of a bucket activity would be attending student success workshops. Our student success workshops work more on the soft skills, um, time management, overcoming procrastination, dealing with math anxiety, and things like that. And last, I give bucket points for, or a bucket point, for students going to see their advisor so that they can make up a two-year plan. I found that that gives the students a goal, a little checklist, so that they can check off each of their classes as they complete them. Other things our uh, college offers as resources are three types of tutoring. We have in-person tutoring, we have live online tutoring, and we have online tutoring the college pur purchased through BrainFuse. Um, but again, the students don't just automatically go to the tutoring center every day after class. So to help break the ice, I do a couple different things. First, I invite tutors into my room so that they can see their face and understand they're just another student just like them. And some of them have just taken their class a couple years ago. Um, and I also like to walk them over to the uh, math tutoring center after the second or third class so that they can go in and see the smiley faces and understand that it's not that intimidating of a place. Dropout Detective is another means our college uses to help students who are struggling. So if a teacher is um, noticed that a student is falling behind, they can refer them to Dropout Def Detective and the math retention specialist, Edwin Maldonado, can call the students in and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, perhaps give them tutoring, perhaps find resources that they need to help them be successful, but even just to let them know they're important and that we want them to succeed. So these bucket activities serve as an enrichment to students, obviously, but they also encourage them to seek assistance. My main objective is to help students take the first step in learning to help themselves succeed. Thank you.